it says x equals to b plus c minus 2a, y equals to c plus a minus 2b, and z equals to a plus b minus 2c. Then the value of x square plus y square minus z square plus 2xy. Now, if you look at what all is given in the question, are there any conditions given to us on what should be the values of a, b, and c? No conditions are given. It simply says x is equal to b plus c minus 2a y equals to c plus a minus 2b and z equals to a plus b minus 2c. No condition with respect to what the values of a, b and c should be. So what do we do? Just take any value. See the point that there is no condition given in the question implies that it is an unconditional application. You can apply any values of a, b and c there, right? There are no conditions attached, right? No strings attached. So let me take a equals to b equals to c equals to 1. Let us keep it simple. See what happens. See when you are substituting it in the exam, you will not write these values. Again, it is taking time for me because I have to write every step so that you can follow it clear. When you substitute in the exam, what do you do? You directly take a equals to b equals to c equals to 1. Mentally, you don't have to put it on paper. Now substitute what happens? x will be equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2. It comes out to be 0. y equals to same 1 plus 1 minus 2. This comes out to be 0. z equals to what? 1 plus 1 minus 2. This also comes out to be 0. And let me repeat again. You need not do this on paper. You can very well understand mentally that it is 1 plus 1 minus 2, so 0. 1 plus 1 minus 2, 0. 1 plus 1 minus 2, 0. x is 0, y is 0, and z is 0. Now substitute x squared plus y. Again, this also need not be written. Minus z squared plus 2xy. Everything is 0, right? So this will anyway result in 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0, or 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0. This will result in 0, which means the final answer should be 0. Now look at the options. Option 1, 0. Yes, maybe this is the answer. See, so you cannot conclude that 0 itself is the answer. I mean, option 1 itself is the answer. You'll have to probably verify the remain op uh, remaining options as well. A plus B plus C. We have taken A, B, C as 1. So A plus B plus C will come out to be 3. So this is wrong. A minus B plus C. 1 minus 1 plus 1. This comes out to be 1. Hence, this is wrong. A plus B minus C. So 1 plus 1 minus 1. This also comes out to be 1. Hence, this is also wrong. So option 1 is the correct answer. Did you see how much time it takes? Less than 10 seconds. Believe me, if you do the substitution yourself, and if you do the calculations mentally, Within 10 seconds, you can crack this question because there were no conditions. Given. If conditions are given, then it becomes complex, right? You can also take ABC as 0. Nothing wrong in that. You can take ABC as 0. So X is 0, Y is 0, Z is 0. Everything becomes 0. Hence, the final answer is. Now, the problem is when you take ABC as 0, second option also will remain 0. Third option will also be 0. Fourth option will also be 0. You will be confused because every option is resulting in 0. Are you able to follow? If we take A equals to B equals to C equals to 0, what happens? First option is anyway 0. Second option, a plus b plus c, 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give you 0. Third option, 0 minus 0 plus 0 is 0. Fourth option, 0 plus 0 minus 0 is also 0. Every option is resulting in 0. And hence, you will not be able to identify what the correct answer is. So you have to take something else there. You know, this, this idea of taking what kind of values would come to you automatically if you practice a lot. Right? You practice and you will get to know. You will yourself get that uh, idea of what should be the best values that I can substitute here, right? Next question. Let us look at the next question. If a squared plus b squared equals to 2 and c squared plus d squared equals to 1, then the value of ad minus bc whole square plus ac plus bd whole squared is. Options are 4 by 9, 1 by 2, 1 and 2. Now, if you look at this question, here also you can substitute values of a and b such that it satisfies the given equation. See, here he has clearly given that a squared plus b squared equals to 2. So you must substitute some value of a and b such that this equation is satisfied. Here he is saying c square plus d square equals to 1. So substitute some value of c and d which satisfies that c square plus d square equals to 1. If you, if you ensure that these equations are satisfied. Now here conditions are given I would say. In this case you cannot take any random value for a, b and c or a, b, c, d like in our previous questions. Here you have to be very very uh, uh, you know thorough while applying the values. I mean, you have to be very clear while applying the values. You cannot substitute anything in place of AB. You have to substitute the values such that A square plus B square equals to 2 and C square plus D square equals to 1. If that is satisfied, directly substitute those ABCD values here and check what the correct answer is. Right? So let's, let's try it out what happens. A square plus B squared equals to 2. Can I say A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1? Yes. 1 square 1, 1 square 1, 1 plus 1, 2. C squared plus D squared equals to 1. Can we say c is equal to 1 and d equals to 0? Yes, because 1 square is 1, 0 square is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1. Now you may ask me a question that why are we taking c as 1 and d as 0? Why can't we take c as 0 and d as 1? You do that. Nothing wrong. Till the equations are satisfied, everything is correct. Right? And there is no other condition given on a, b, c, d. So you can take that. So I can now conclude that a, b, c are 1 
and D is equal to 0. Now substitute here and check what happens. AD minus BC whole square. Let me just write this expression. AD minus BC whole square plus AC plus BD whole square. Substitute. Substitute what happens? AD. So uh, 1 into 0. D is equal to 0. Minus BC 1 into 1 whole square plus AC 1 into 1 plus BD 1 into 0 whole square. So what happens? This is minus 1 square and this is 1 square. 1 square plus 1 square is 2. So your answer should be 2. Option 4. Option 4 is the correct answer. How much time does it take? Hardly any time. Just substitute and you get the correct answer. Now you may ask me, is this the only way of solving the question? No. The actual way of solving the question is different. If you want to go by the traditional solution, it will take a little longer. Like for example, there in that case, what we may do here is expand this. He's asking us to find out AD minus BC whole squared plus AC plus BD whole squared. Let us expand. So A minus B whole squared or X minus Y whole squared. What's the formula? X squared plus Y squared minus 2XY. So A square D squared plus B squared C squared minus 2AD BC. Then expand the second term. A, AC plus BD whole squared. So A square C squared plus B squared D squared plus 2ACBD. Now, if you understand, minus 2ABCD plus 2ABCD gets cancelled. What are we left with? A square D squared plus B squared C squared plus A squared C squared plus B squared D squared. Now, we can take some terms common. Let's, let's take D square common from the first two terms. So, if you take D square common, what do we get? A square plus B square. Let's take C square common here. If you take C square common, what do we get? B square plus A square. Again, from these two terms, we can take a square plus b square common. So what do we get? a square plus b square. If you take common, we'll get d square plus c square. Now, both these values are already given to us in the question itself. a square plus b square equals to 2. c square plus d square equals to 1. So 2 into 1 equals to 2. But who is going to do all this drama in the exam? No, please do not do this. Because there are no conditions attached, the only condition is you have to check a square plus b square should be 2 and c square plus d square equals to 1. And it is easy to substitute. See, I don't say that every time you can substitute some value here. Like, for example, let's say a square plus b square is given as 5. Then it may become a little complex. Or a square plus b square is given as 6. Then it will be very, very difficult to substitute, right? a square plus b square equals to 6. Substituting the values of a and b in that case will become difficult. Or c square plus d square equals to, let's say, 3. Then substituting c and d value will become difficult. Maybe you can take it as root 3 and 0. Here also you can take it as root 6 and 0. All that can be done. But it may get complex. So if it is really that complex, then you can follow the solution, the regular way of solving it, which is not difficult again. If you see, it's very, very simple. But first method that you always apply for solving such questions is to substitute the values in such a way that you satisfy the given conditions. If you get the correct values, that's it. Substitute in whatever expression is needed and find out the required answer. The answer for this question is option 4, 2. Option 4, 2 will be the correct answer. All right.